June 6, 2023. Brake pads rear for 2015 uh, 4Runner. So we did was, let me give you an orientation. This, kind of turn it so it, it sits in the car like that. Okay, so we're in the rear driver's side and this is how it's gonna sit. These two boots are right here. This 14 BD is up. So now what we did was we took out the O shims. We used some sandpaper to sand where it sat and then we put in the new shims and then we put some high temperature caliper grease on these four money areas and then we put the pads in and the question is where do we put these wear indicators? Well, can we so see this right there? Yeah, so this is the the bottom right here. Right here, the bottom. So we put a wear indicator there. And then now we're gonna put another wear indicator on the opposite side, on the inside, because they gave us four. And that's that. And after he uh my friend does that, then we're gonna put some uh, caliper grease into this hole there so the pins can ride in there with nice and grease uh, we got new rotors we're about to turn them but um, we decided to get new ones and then we put uh, anti-seize inside here before we put it on and then we're also going to put some we've already put uh, caliper grease around the piston and then all those mating points up there so we're trying to okay. decrease our chance of any squeaks so that's good so now the only thing we need to do now is put some I'm gonna put my hand down here. In my lap. This is better if I did it last like this. If I did it earlier, it would have been like. Messing yeah, with your brake yeah. pads, right? Yeah, but uh, it was a little touchy. Yeah. So that was like a decision I was trying to soul search for like a while. Okay. Well, why are you packing it with so much in there? Just uh, so you, you, you put the screw back in. Yeah. It also adds the seal to it. Huh? Uh, I don't know about the seal. It's just uh, increasing the chances of the pins. Touching grease. Okay. Okay. So that's good. That's good. So, just so the people understood, we just packed a lot of caliper grease in that hole. Now we need to find the pins. They're sitting right here. So they're super. The pins are clean. Yeah, they're super clean. We kept them clean. We could have had um, dust. Go on to there. Okay. Right, add more grease. Right, wipe whatever you want on there. Alright. That's one. Alright. Let's put it on without touching the rotor. Oh, you know what I did? I was supposed to put, um, I was supposed to put, get ready with these 17 millimeters that has, has anti-seize on already. So this is a DIY job at home, so we're doing a little bit more meticulous than a shop, obviously. It's right here. Uh, are we lining up? Yeah. You have to just go deeper in. No, it's touching this metal here. Let's see if I can do it easily right here. See how this, this piece touches this right here? So we, last time we did this, we did it without the rotor. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is not. The assembly's. Something's off? Yeah. So tell me what's hitting. See this right here? Uh huh. Touching this. So, if I had. This has to go last, I imagine. Yeah, this covers this part. Yeah, so this has to go first. All right, let me put it down, down for a second. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Now we're in business. Okay, now there's the line up, right? So, yep. Now the lining up part is for me. So the top has to go in a little bit deeper, a little bit higher up. Up. Uh huh. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. That's pretty close. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Let me try the bottom here. Bottom is a chicken dinner already. Top is a chicken dinner. Let's get these things snugged. I think some video said this might be 68 foot pounds or something. But they're just snug right now. So now, the next thing we need to do is we need to get this closer to get that in. And has this been squished in? No, it's, uh, that one is oh, protruding. Oh, no. Well, you got your, but we <laughs> you greased it up already. <laughs> All right, so go get ahead. The tool. Yeah, get the tool and get an old brake pad, put it in here. Yeah, that's why I kept on asking, but does the other side squeeze in yet? And I forgot. All right, we're gonna use the brake. Oh no. Oh, got it. Popped out? Yeah. Uh, okay, I got, I, I got it. You just do your thing. Okay, so this goes here. Uh -huh. I'm gonna push it down. Yep. And then obviously you want to make sure your reservoir. This you want to push this on the inside of this, right? Mm -hmm. This needs to be a lot smaller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you hold that. Uh, obviously, you need to make sure your reservoir is not full up there. And. We only did the two front calipers, and now we've been pushing the two rear. Hopefully up there is not over spilling out. Yeah. Okay. 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 It's okay, keep on doing it. I'm looking at you here. Yeah, keep going. Thank you, my friend Z, for this tool. Very convenient. The difference between him and me is he knows what his tools are. <laughs> okay. All right, it bought a tiny bit more. That's it. All right. So you have grease in your hand there, okay? Yep. yep. So I'm gonna leave this here. You fix it. you fix the the fallen brake pad. Actually, probably grease that one first, and then fix the fallen brake pad.
Oh, this video has been upside down all the time. Now we're the correct. How do I do that? Is because there's a time, 10 minute timer, and it's on the top. Yeah. And I had that inverted. So, a good three minutes this video is like annoyingly inverted. Cool, you put this one back. No dirt. Looks good. The pad's clean. Oh, the, uh, where'd the foot fall off? I think you have to find that clip. Just use that clip then. We'll find it in a little bit. It's gonna go like this. Alright, that's our wear indicator there. It's gonna be living on the bottom here. Where my finger is. And so is there a secret how to put that in? You kind of uh, angle, angle it. Yeah. Angle the one that's closer to the, the base first, and then like this. It does help to see the like half line. Can you see on that side? I can't see the top here. Okay, got it. Now we're in. So basically, I went out like this, pushed down, and then once I got some slack down here, then I pushed in. So did you get that? I was like, uh -huh. like this, come down. So this edge, come down, and then push it. All right, so now we just kind of compress this a little bit more with our fingers, get it closer. And now anything, let's spin this rotor a little bit and let's see if we can clean anything with some some rag. Keep that rotor nice and clean before it contaminates the with any grease. Because we got some grease all over this thing already, touching it. While this thing is not compressed yet, it's probably easier to clean it now. Let's just make sure that it's a really clean rag. No, don't go that way. Go this way. We were going to send the dirty stuff back oh. into the pads. <laughs> the other secret is when we lined this thing up earlier, we had a hiccup because we didn't push this rotor deeper in until it's flushed and then this thing will... So basically, rotor, caliper, caliper mount is what I call this, with the 14 BD. And then after all the assemblies in, then the real caliper comes in. So I'm hoping that since we squeeze all this, that all that liquid up there is didn't ooze out. Because if it oozes up up there, then it brake fluid eats paint so we have to hose it up quickly yeah it looks good all right so I'm gonna squeeze this in with my hands we got our wear indicators here wear indicator here we've greased this is metal the it's a stainless steel shim and then there is grease outside then the brake pads came in so basically there's grease all around this area meaning with that so now we're gonna put this piston mm -hmm. back in place right yep so we greased it yep You got those um, pins? Mm -hmm. Oh, watch out for the boot. Don't cut the boot. 
Got to somehow compress. Ooh, careful. Yeah. Let me use that my screwdriver and do it. Make sure the bottom one too. Okay, come on in. Uh huh. Or do you? Right here. Is it contact? There you go. Move up a little bit. I gotta move. I gotta squish the boot better. Okay. Okay, come in. Okay, good. Awesome. Cool. Now, this is my my slimed up grease. I'm gonna put this inside. I don't want any hydro lock. Something is slightly off here. Things aren't lining up. You see how it's crooked? This whole caliper? Oh. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if I have like too much grease in there or why yeah, is it? Probably. Tons and tons of grease. Let's pull it out and just clean it and put it push back in. No, I can just get a like a, a, a toothpick or something. Oh. I was saying take off, push it in, take off, push it in. This will make it bolt. Okay, that's good. Let me find like a really thin piece of metal. Oh, you want to just wipe the rest off there? No, it's uh, it's more inside is a problem. We just get a coat hanger or something. You can just hold your position. Once I get some kind of thin piece of metal. It's a thin piece of metal. All right, let me borrow that. Finger here has grease, okay? Okay, we're good. There's grease on your fingertips too. Okay, so that's locked. That's locked. Alright, so now we just have to tighten this one probably like 70 something, 60 something, and then we're done on one side. Okay. Thanks for watching.